Hey everybody, East Coast Reefer here. Today I'm going to take you through how to fit a Red Sea Reef LED 90. Uh, as you can see, I've already got one fitted. Part of a test of uh, changing my lights over from uh, Aqua Illumination Primes uh, to these. So I quite like this. Um, I quite, even more like the simplicity in the app and how to set it up. So. I've bought a second one and I'm going to take you through how to fit them now. So I've got the the light fitting here and what I've done is I've attached it, the light to the end. There's a bracket here that screws onto the actual unit, two pins that push in from the side and then another screw in the middle there. You then feed the cable through here and put the cap on the end uh, just to keep it nice and neat and tidy and then that's the bracket ready to go on the tank. You then have the tank mount part which I've already wound the, the screws all the way out of. You need two inches or 50 millimeters of space between the back of your glass and the wall to be able to get these on otherwise they don't fit. So I've just dropped the hanger over the top of the tank there and then I'll feed this through. So bring you in a little closer and if I power the light up, hopefully there should be a bit more ambient light in the area. Should make it a little look a little bit better. So for that to boot up. There we go. So I will continue to tighten these up at the back. So these two are now fitted. Uh, what I will do now is I'll get my power meter and I'm just going to measure and play around with the spacing between the two because in the middle point here you'll get light spillage from one and the other. So if you put them too close together so you would logically split this into three and you would have one in you know, the middle of each half if you like. Um, but if you do that, you will actually get light overlap in the middle and the light intensity in the middle will be higher than at the edges. Um, and I'm trying to get it as even as I can. So I'll play around with the distribution of these and just work out what is best. So here we go. So let's take this about 150 mil down, pretty much directly under that LED. We're at 250 par. So let's see, we are the same distance here. We're at 170. So I think I can move the light on this side towards the middle a bit more. It a bit more in the middle. So we will just get this about the same distance. Yeah, 250 and then over underneath that one, 260 and then back over here. to 60 so I'm not just going to play around with it all day that's close enough for me so at 150 mil down six inches um, you are looking at 260 250 260 um, more than happy with that so the only thing left for me to do now is I need to get hold of the cutouts to fit to my Red Sea DIY cover. Uh, I wish this material was black. I don't like the white netting. I had a D&D &D, uh, DIY cover on my last tank. I much prefer the Red Sea frame, but I much prefer the D&D &D black netting. I think that looks much slicker. So yeah, Red Sea, if you're listening, some black netting would be awesome. 
that's just about it now, I think. So hopefully this is useful. This is on a Red Sea Reefer 250. And if I get my tape measure, lounging around in a drawer, here we go. So the height's fixed. The distance from the back is fixed with these brackets and the spacing, if I measure from the side of the tank to the side of this arm, we are looking at exactly nine inches or 228 millimeters. And I imagine we're probably looking at something similar. That's interesting, so eight inches on that side. So I, I can, I'll probably find that I've got a brighter spot up against the edge of the tank. I'm okay with that because most of my SPS is over on this side and this side's mostly LPS with the exception of the, the frags that are sitting on the rack here. Um, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully that's been helpful. If it has, please like, share, subscribe, uh, hit that bell icon, all those things that YouTube likes to see you do. Um, and I'll see you in another video really soon.